Hi everyone. So I'm doing this lead code solution after a while because I was busy with my personal life. But yeah, now I have uh, got some free time. So I have started doing these videos again. So today we'll be solving a lead code medium level problem. So let me just go aside. Okay. So if you can see the problem statement is something called as next permutation. So given, let's say examples 123 and second example is 115 and third example is 321. So, okay, the problem statement is something like this. Implement the next permutation, which rearranges numbers into lexographically next greater permutation of numbers. So, for example, if you have been given numbers, one to arrange it as the lowest possible order. So, if you see in this case, it's not possible. So, 3 to 1 can't be rearranged any, in any other form by which we can say that number is greater than 321. So, in this case, we need to form the lowest number. And in this case, if the number is 115, we need to return as 151. Okay, so this is the problem statement. Hope that's clear. So the replacement must be in, in place and use only constant space extra, constant extra memory. Okay, this is the key thing. So there's two ways to solve this problem. The first one is a brute force method, which is again using some extra memory. And that's not the ask here, but again, I can explain you just in brief how to solve in brute force method as well. Then we'll see the efficient solution as well. So if you can see, these are the two ways to solve this problem. Okay, so these are the two ways to solve the problem. So if you can see, the first method is brute force solution, where basically you go and find every possible permutation of list formed by the numbers given. Right? In this case, if you're given one, two, three, you will form all the permutations possible, right? Recursively or iteratively, and check what is the next greater element form, right? So in this case, the time complexity will be O of n factorial and space complexity will be O of n. But again, this is not much efficient and that's not the ask here. So I'll skip explaining more about brute force solution and go to the actual solution. So actual solution is something like this. So which is called as one pass or two pointer solution. Okay. So let me take an example to solve this. Let's take this example. So let's say given numbers are something like this. So our one pass or two pointer solution works something like this. So basically, you go from backwards. So basically you traverse from backwards and try to find basically first decreasing number. Okay. And name it as X. Let's say we are taking two plus three is greater. So you go forward. That's not the first decreasing limit. Five is greater than C. You go forward. Six is greater than five. Seven is greater than six. So if you see here, four is not greater than seven. That's the reason our X will be pointing to four. In this case, in the index, right? So it will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. So in this case, let me just erase this. Okay. Now we need to find the position for the second pointer. Let's say that's y. Okay. So basically, we start from our x pointer and try to find just our next greater element to the smallest element what we have found. So smallest element is 4. And we, when we move forward, 7 is greater, 6 is greater, 5 is greater, but 3 is not greater. So 3 comma 6. So once we swap, the numbers what we get is 1, 5, 8. So 4 will become 5. And then we did only one pass or one traversal of the entire string or the input. So that's the reason our time complexity is O of n. And space complexity is again O of 1. Because we are not using any extra space. Right. So I have mentioned both the solutions here. So please do watch the complete video. I will be coding for the efficient solution. And uh, yeah, as I said, uh, Keep learning every day. I will be making these uh, videos uh, more often now. And if you want to connect with me, I have my Instagram link in the description below. Please do connect with me and do like, share and subscribe and keep learning every day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi guys. As I have already explained the logic for the problem next permutation. Let's uh, go over and write the code now. So just going over the problem once again. So implement next permutation which rearranges numbers into lexographical next permutation of numbers. So what does that mean is if you have been given an example one, two, three. So in this, you have to rearrange the numbers such that the next number is greater than 123. So if you rearrange the numbers one, two, three, the next immediate higher number would be 132. So you need to return that if, okay. Okay. And the second condition is if such arrangement is not possible, then you need to rearrange into lowest possible order and return. Okay, so for example, this one, 321. So the next, this is the highest number possible 
with these three digits, right? So in this case, you have to return the lowest, that is 123. Okay, and one more condition to make note of is the replacement must be in place and use only constant extra memory. Okay, let's uh, start writing code. So these are the two conditions we need to check. So when do we swap? Whenever next element is greater than the previous element. If no such element is found, we just reverse and return. So right now I've just returned on a couple of helper functions what we might need. Let's go over the main logic. First, we take an integer i which would be pointing to the second element in the given array. Then we need to loop until i is greater than or equal to 0 and num of i plus 1 is less than or equal to num of num of i. This is because we shall get out of this loop and we'll, i will be pointing to integers as that it is greater than its previous value. Okay. okay. Let's say we need to check if i is greater than 0. If it is not, we just reverse the input vector from the lower index. So let's say i is greater than, if it is not greater than 0, then it's definitely in negative. So we do i plus 1 is the lower index. Okay, let's say i is greater than 0. Then we need to take uh, another integer j, which will be equal to the last element of the given input vector. And loop until j is greater than 0, equal to 0. And to check if nums of i is greater than equal to nums of j. Until then, we keep decrementing j. Once that is done, we just swap the elements of i and j. Okay. And this is our main logic. Let's bring in our helper functions. So we have a couple of helper functions. One is reverse, which reverses the input vector from the given lower index. Okay, add that here. And I have a customized swap function, which takes two indices and Swaps the elements at that at those indices. Okay, we can bring that as well. Okay, so this is our code. Let's go over the code and try to find out the minor mistakes. So I will be starting from the second integer. We decrement until we find an element which is greater than its previous. I will be greater than equal to. So that's our mistake. J will be starting from the second from the last integer. Okay, this is minus one. Okay, so it passed for the base case. Let's uh, submit the code and see if it passes for all the test cases. Okay, looks like it did. It's a medium level lead code problem, but it is very frequently asked in Facebook interviews. Do let me know if you have any concerns or inputs for this solution. And like always, keep learning every day. And thank you for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.